Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Whenever you, uh, whenever you see a Democrat appoint a black judge, you know that judge is dumb as a box of rocks. Yeah. They literally got the job because they're black. <laughs> That's the reason why they picked them. Because they're black, token, Negro for the vote. Yeah. That's why you do it. Yeah. But these people are not judges. Yeah, it is crazy, man. When Trump had black people in his back office, or whenever he put, appointed a black person on his on his administration, oh, look at the token Negro. Right? Yeah. Right? Right? That's what they say. That's what the liberals say. Look at the token Negro. Yeah. Look at that token Negro. Yeah, but when now, Trump... Hey, let me finish. Go. Now, Biden comes out, say, I'm going to pick somebody because they're black. That's not a token Negro. Yeah, He's but, actually picking that person because they're black. Yeah, they're, shut up. Like when Trump picks a black person, it's based on the merits of that person. It has nothing yeah. to do with their skin color. Which means they're not a token Negro. But when Joe Biden comes out and says, I'm going to pick that person because he's black, that's it, that's the epitome of a what? A token. A token Negro. The hypocrisy. Pick the vice president. What did he say? She's going to be black. It's going to be a woman. Token Negro. He got half of it, right? He got a woman. She's dark enough, though. I guess she just fits. Who you talking about? The Kamala? judge. Yeah, Kamala. The she judge. She's black, though. I know she ain't, but she's dark enough. Look at us. She's the same color as us, so she fits. All you have to do is tell black. Look, she's black. She's like one of the Hodge twins. That's all you got to do. The judge they picked, the other judge, the Supreme Court judge. Yeah. Why do you pick her? Woman? Black. Not based on her qualification or attributes. Yeah. She's a Negro. And she's going to do what I tell her. You know why? Because she knows she's a token. I'm going to show you this other judge appointed by Obama. Yeah. This proves the point. Proves the point, man. <laughs> Check this judge out. First of all, she looks like Obama. <laughs> I thought there was a transgender there for a second. That's hey, a woman? That's a woman. Obama appointed. Ain't nothing feminine about that woman. Hey, yeah, it is. That's just somebody's grandma. Let like me read what? This. Yo, this looks like somebody's grandma. What you talking about? Well, that picture's a face shot. I need to see the whole picture. I need to see the body, everything. But that's not like a very... You know. Okay, let me read this, Kim. I apologize. She, she probably, I probably hit that. I'm going to talk to trash. I, I know it damn good well. I probably been that old. <laughs> hey, Kim, come on. Let's get serious on this. I'm being dead serious. Won't you shut up? I'm going to read this article. Why you got all these Mexicans jumping over a fence, though? What's going on? Look, Obama appointee... They jumping over barbed wire? <laughs> I can see you know what? Bring the camera back to me real quick. We got stereotypes for a reason, right? Now, Mexicans, what was stereotype? They like tacos and burritos. I do too, right? But what else? What, what's another stereotype? They work hard, right? They work hard. Where you going with this? Right? And not only do they work hard, but they, if they, they, when they put their mind to something, they'll do it. Bring that picture back up. Bring the article back up. These people said, I'm going to make something of myself. <laughs> I'm going to jump over this damn fence with barbed wire on it. I bet you won't see no Negro doing that. Hey, Kevin, where are you going with this? This is where I'm going with it. Negroes in this country, do you think, metaphorically, do a, a Negro will go, will, will go through the, go, will go through, right? Will go through the metaphor, figuratively, to jump over a fence with barbed wire to get a job? That's what the Mexicans doing? No, no, Mexicans or the Latinos would do. Yeah, yeah. they do anything. We're hard working. Uh, that's why they got that. Latinos style. are ambitious, right? Hard working. Yep. That's that's yep. just mm -hmm. their culture. That's now, what, now, what's the stereotype for uh, black? Uh, give me, 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 give me. Give me. I'm black. Nagging. Give it to me. I'm black. Give me. Naggers. I'm Naggers. broke because I'm black. Give, give it me. to me. Put it in my hand. I'm yeah. yeah. Give me your white wife too. She bad yeah. as hell. Yeah, yeah. Naggers. Right. Hey, N a G G E R. I don't want nobody misinterpreting what I'm saying. I'm saying naggers. <laughs> All right, can, let me read this article. Naggers. Let me get back to this judge, y'all. Man, let me go back up to that. Let me read the um, Obama appointee and liberal Illinois federal judge rules illegal immigrants can carry guns legally. What? <laughs> Wait you, a minute. Uh, let me read. They're yep. gonna give a gun. <laughs> So you got Democrats giving out guns. They give to an illegal immigrant. They say it's legal for them to carry. Let me read but the article. But they illegal. To 
Let me read it, y'all. Man, this shit crazy. A liberal yeah. Illinois federal judge has ruled that an illegal immigrant was wrongly banned from possessing the firearm. U.S. District Judge Sharon Johnson Coleman, an Obama appointee, ruled earlier this month that an illegal migrant residing in the U.S. had his Second Amendment rights violated when he was charged for possession of a weapon. What? <laughs> uh, 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 hold on. You, you, you mean to tell me somebody came to this country illegally? He got stopped by the cops and he took his gun from him, and they said they violating his rights, his <laughs> Second Amendment rights. Yeah, because he's an American. Well, he's an illegal. He's not American. He's he's a he's a he's a natural from another. Well, no shit, Sherlock. What he talking about? He got a Second Amendment right. Second Amendment applies to American citizens. You, hey, Kevin, you've never heard of a uh, uh, of a Democrat, have you? I've heard of a Democrat. They have a distorted view of the Constitution. Yeah, you know what black people, black liberals, the black Democrat is becoming synonymous with? What? Well, go on, say it. You gonna say it? I've been going on, I've been going in on these Negroes for like last right, two Don't months. say it. I'm gonna read this article. No, I'm gonna go and say it. Well, put the camera. I want everybody to look at your face when you say it. Say it. They lack capacity. I'm starting to think it's uh, a capacity issue. <laughs> it's a capacity issue. No, Kevin, they're just tokens. They're doing whatever the man tell them to do. Yeah? Yeah. The sellouts. Yeah, no, I agree with that. They, they got capacity. They, they, they tokens. But why are they tokens? Because they lack capacity. All right, whatever. They lack, look at here. They lack capacity to think for themselves, and they have no... Okay, I'll give you that. Okay, you yeah. win the argument. Yeah. All right, let me yeah, read they don't know the. They don't know the difference between... They can't distinguish. The difference between right and wrong, good and evil. They don't even know the difference between evil. a male, a man, and a woman. Okay, you not be- only do, what makes the token is their lack of capacity to think for themselves. Yeah, all right, let's go to this. I'm gonna read this. Yeah, they, they, they lack capacity. That's what I'm saying. Um, they lack all kinds of capacity. Alberto, lack brain Alberto cells. Carbajal Flores. That sounds like was charged by prosecutors under U.S. Code 18, Section 922, which like prohibits illegal immigrants from carrying guns or, am- or ammunition. In her ruling, a judge w- with a liberal track record wrote, the non-citizen possession statute violates the Second Amendment as applied to Carbajal Flores. Thus, the court grants Carbajal Flores motion Carbajal. to dismiss. Carbajal Flores... Defense team posed the argument that the government could not show that 18 U.S.C. Section 922 G5, whatever the fuck that is, <laughs> was part of the historical tradition that delimits the out of bounds of the right to keep and bear arms. <laughs> Wait a minute. You try to, okay. Wait a minute. You Democrats don't make any sense. Hold on. Y'all, uh, y'all always trying to take away, y'all like, y'all want to ban like assault rifles, but it's okay for illegals to have guns. Hey, man, hold on. We can't defend our borders. People can just walk in our country, and we give them the right to care for them when they don't respect the rights and the sovereignty of our nation. That's kind of one-sided, don't you think? Let me keep reading, man. Let me read this. I asked you a question. No, I don't, it don't make any sense, Kevin. Yeah, it's one-sided. Let me, let me keep reading this. Keep reading this shit. Defense's argument was enough to persuade Coleman the charges should be dismissed. What? Lifetime disarmament of an individual based on alienage or nationality alone does not have roots in the history and tradition of the United States. What? Coleman acknowledges in her ruling that Carbajal Flores is a non-citizen, though she shied away from any harsher language. Wait a minute. The 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 court notes, however, that Carbajal Flores has never been convicted of a felony, a violent crime, it or a crime be. involving the use of, of a weapon, it she wrote. Keep, it, on our records, not, we don't know what is kind of record he has in, in Mexico or anywhere. Or Where he came from. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Look, let me hey, keep man, reading. And let me say this. What? U.S. Constitution applies to American citizens. Bill yeah. of Rights and all that, right? Yeah. There's some private if you here in our country illegally. They misinterpret Constitution, Bill of Rights, intentionally. For political gain. That's why I always say this. I always say this. Democrat would do anything for a vote, even if it puts our our citizens at risk. It's one more paragraph I want to read. Read. 
Um, man, where did it go? Well, read it. What? Even in the present case, Carbajal Flores contends that he received and used the handgun solely for self-protection and protection of property during a time of un, a time of documented civil unrest in the spring of 2020. She added, like referring to the riots that swept the country in the wake of the killing of George Floyd. That's when those Negroes is out of control. The ruling has inspired a plethora of responses across the legal community, including some Second Amendment absolutists who say the people referred to by the framers in the amendment includes those in the country. But to buy the framers of the amendment include those in the country illegally. All right, I'm, 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 I'm the ruling went. Oh, fuck, I'm tired of reading this. I'm getting frustrated. So illegals can have guns, but to protect themselves from angry Negroes, it sounds like. I can't blame the judge, then. I can't blame the niggas. Are out of control. Yeah, I was joking. I wasn't. These Negroes are out of control, but I don't think. No, illegal immigrant, you don't. No. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you're in this country legally and I catch you with a gun, hey. your ass going back to the, going back where you came from. What? If you in this country legally and uh -huh. you have a gun, uh -huh. oh, you going back where you came from. Yeah, it's a felony because you, you, first of all, you're supposed to be in the country. You're here legally. On top of that, you're walking around with a gun, and I know you don't got a CCW. The carry concealed weapon. That's like 500 felonies right there. <laughs> Automatic deportation. Yeah, when you when you run into a black Democrat judge, oh, that judge is gonna be all, That be judge honest, is gonna be a damn fool. <laughs> that judge gonna be a GD fool. That's why I don't date black women. Hey, what what are you talking about? How do you make that leap to that? What does that got to do with you dating black women? Well, I've had some bad incidents, incidents with black women. They're violent, they're abusive, both verbally and physically. They <laughs> can't stop. Your wife used to beat your ass every day. Why you always got to bring this up? I can't know how she had a new scratch. That's why we went yeah, to she was She was uh, mentally and verbally abusive. That's why I started dating Latinos. I started dating everything else. Yeah. I mean, I, if... If I wasn't married, I'd still date black chicks, but I, 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 I have my, I have my guard well, up. I got some rules of if they, if they black, they got to be, uh, they got to be biracial. They got to have some type of white gene in them. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? We mean what I'm talking some about. Some jokes, you, <laughs> you ever playing, y'all? I ain't playing. <laughs> I'm not gonna date no full blown <laughs> Negro. <laughs> you gotta, gotta have some of that white man's blood. <laughs> Dog, Kevin, that has nothing to do with it. No, that they black gotta Negro, have, no. the Negro, Kevin, that, stop, stop. It's, it's a Let whole other animal. animal. I'm trying I'd to, rather be, I'm trying to show, I'm trying to throw you a life preserver, and you in here act like Kanye West on damn Alex Jones show. I'm trying to throw you a life preserver. Shut the F up. Um, let me throw you a life preserver. Thank you, but I don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me tell you. I've got some yeah. guidelines when it comes to dating black Yeah, women. they got to be conservative-minded. That's all they need to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could be, that could be 100% black. I give the Negro woman a pass if she's conservative. Yeah. Right? But so this whole uh, if racial... If she's not conservative, if she's moderate, right, she got to have at least, least 30% white man in her. <laughs> man, this show's like, over. Wait a minute. Like Candace Owens. Right? She's conservative. I give that woman a pass. <laughs> what is she talking about? She's conservative. She's got a great brain, great yeah. attitude. That's all they have to have is a conservative mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A rational, but logical what mind. That's I'm all. I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to express to you today is if they're not conservative, right? Yeah. They consider themselves Republican or conservative. They consider themselves Democrat, moderate, right? Liberal, only liberal, way, liberal. Yeah, liberal. Only not way progressive. Not get, progressive. The liberal. only way I get in bed with them. They got to have 20% white man in them. At least. It evens things out. I know it's a horrible thing to say. That's horrible thing to say. You just, but it's the truth. That's what makes me feel comfortable. Dating that type, a black woman. Thank you you got to be conservative. If you're not full-blown conservative Trump supporter, you got to be, you got to have some white blood in you. Show's over. Hey, I, our giveaway's almost over. You don't agree with me? I agree with you. Yeah, look at the Negroes here in the U.S. The show is over. Negroes voting Democrat. Man, fuck it. Cut this camera off. I can't even close out the damn video anymore. We'll close the about the We've been that. talking about niggas for like 20 minutes. Tell them about the powerful truck we're giving away. We're giving away a powerful truck. 
brand new Ford F-250 and 10,000 cash to enter the win. It. Tell about that cash. Go to officialhawkstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically enter the win. Tell about the cash. Why it's so valuable. It's got them white people on it. Yep. That's why.